Hey, if you are interested in learning how to convert mind maps, in particular XMind mind mapping formats, and convert them into Obsidian notes for better usability, then this video is for you. Hey, my name is Brandon. Thanks for following along here on my 30 day video journey. I'm on day 22 and I've been sharing some Obsidian note uh, uh, videos as I go along. And in this one here, I found really interesting. And I think that if you do mind mapping and uh, Obsidian notes, then you're probably going to find a lot of value in this video um, where we're going to go and we're going to convert uh, the the X mind mind map into markdown and I want to I get a couple tips that I want to share with you as we do that but why would somebody want to do this first being able to read a book or watch a video or anything and if you were using a mind map in particular for example I was using uh, mind mapping to uh, do this book 18 minutes find your focus master distraction and get the right things done and I utilized the mind mapping software to kind of go through and take all of the different thoughts and put them into uh, this overarching structure. And I have some different reasons for that, but it, it looks great. It's able to easily be converted to a PDF. However, that data itself, it's in a very unusable format for the most part. You are able to search um, and Actually, at XMind, it is searchable. If you go into the upper left-hand corner, or if I just type in Control F, you'll see that the search pane comes up, and I can just put in here Marathon, and I'm able to locate uh, the, the bubble that has the word Marathon in it, which is great and everything, but you start to run into some issues. What if there's a quote that you want to reuse? Like, if let's say that you're a thought leader in some type of space. Maybe you're a coach or an author or maybe you're a student doing research for a paper and you wanna be able to come back and quickly be able to grab that. If, if you're looking to reuse that note, or maybe there was a story, maybe the author utilized the story and you want to, and you put that in a note and, you're, and you'd like to be able to put that in a note in your Obsidian note vault, then while it's less appealing, in my opinion, the Obsidian notes are less visually appealing, and you're not able to drag and drop like you can very easily on the mind maps. But it can still be collapsible in Obsidian, kind of like this, just to kind of show you. So I have, this is a, a, an H1 tag, and if I close that, the whole thing collapses. And if I uh, click these arrows, it's able to kind of collapse and do something very similar to like a mind mapping software, where if I come over and I just... Uh, collapse that, I can close it all up and, and expand it back out, which is nice. But being able to take that information then and very, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about here, in particular, the Susan Boyle story, we're gonna kind of show how that is able to get imported into the markdown and then be able to quickly create a note about that. So essentially you can make your, you can also take your mind map and you can create it into a, and make it a very easily shareable document by putting it into the Obsidian note markdown file. And then the other cool thing is, so if somebody wants to basically have that in their Obsidian vault, you can share that note with them. They can put that into their vault, or you can even take that, which we're going to do, uh, the next video that I'm going to do is taking that markdown note and incorporating it and basically importing it into XMind. So that's enough of the why and the problems. Let's, let's talk about the how. So we're gonna to go to the 18 minute mind map and then we're gonna click export as markdown. So if I come up here to the mind map and I'm gonna come up here, file, export, scroll down and click markdown, then you're gonna be given, it, so it's gonna, it's gonna create the markdown file and then it's gonna give you a chance to save it wherever you wanna save it. So let me go ahead and navigate uh, to my Obsidian vault. So right now I, I'm gonna to navigate to my Obsidian vault and I'm gonna save it in my inbox processing folder. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I'm here, I, I've located the folder and I'm gonna click the inbox processing and I'm gonna click open and it should allow me to save it right inside of there. And that is now over in my Obsidian vault. If I come over to my vault, here is the 18 minutes, find your focus. And I'm just gonna open up this note so you can kind of take a look. Now what it did, and, and this is kind of interesting, and this is gonna be where it, the structure of your mind map is gonna help dictate what this looks like. So this is an H2 tag. And by the way, if you're interested in knowing uh, 
to a couple things. If you want to be able to reutilize uh, and create your own themes in XMind, I'm going to put a link under this video for how you can do that, as well as I will also put a link to two other videos for you. One on how to uh, which theme I'm using, as well as how you can change the title, uh, the header colors here very easily for your usability. And what you'll notice uh, in particular, like if I go here to this part two, um, you'll see that that is a, an H2. This is an H3 tag with the three hashes. And then you'll see where we have the indentation. And if I come over to the mind map so you can kind of see what those differences are, um, you'll see that the deeper you go, for example, pursue passions, pursue things that matter to us. If I come over here, pursue things that matter to us, you'll see that the bubbles that are further in are indented. And basically each different layer, you can almost see, and you can almost tell what your, whenever you have your X mind mind map, what it's gonna look like correspondingly in your markdown file for Obsidian. I hope that makes sense, but here's where some of the magic happens then. So once, once you have the, uh, uh, once you have the markdown file, for example, let me go over here and let me find the bubble that has about Susan Boyle. Um, let me uh, control O, whoops, control F, Susan Boyle. So here is, here's that. It's right under the part one hovering above your world. So if I come back over here to my Obsidian Vault, I'm gonna come up to part one. Here's the Susan Boyle story. If I just want to create a note on that, I can come in here, Susan Boyle. Okay, we can create a new note. And then if I want to, you know, insert a template about that, I can. And if I want to add a link to a YouTube video talking about her, then I'm able to do that as well. So, and just like that, then we have a mind map that we've taken in, brought it into Obsidian, and we're able to then utilize the power of the links and tags in Obsidian to really add a lot more functionality uh, in that regard so that you can quickly find information and be able to start to create these relationships between different thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the video below. But I, I found that being able to take this mind map be something that's so visually appealing and being able to incorporate that into Obsidian where I can have all of the functionality and the amazing things that Obsidian and the, like, the personal knowledge management system is able to do. Uh, it's been pretty awesome and I was glad to be able to discover this and hopefully you, you learned something along the way. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you got some value out of this, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.